So I got a gift card for Office Works for Christmas. Um, I went and spent that today. I spent about $93 and I reckon I got a pretty decent amount of stuff for that price. I got some new markers, some pencils, a sketchbook and a pencil case. So in this video I'm just going to go through everything that I got, try to do some swatches and see if I can create some new pieces using the new materials, which is always fun. So let's get started. These are the new pencils I got. They're the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor, made in Germany. I picked these out individually from Officeworks rather than buying them in a pack. I was actually looking for the Prismacolors, but I didn't have individuals. And I saw these and they looked pretty promising. They have some really nice colors and a nice feel to them. So I thought I'd pick them out and see how they go. I'd never heard of the brand before, but now that I've used them, I'm pretty happy with the result. Also got this Windsor and Newton sketchbook, just an A4, I think it's 110 GSM paper. So I decided I'll just swatch all of the different colours of the Lara pencils in this new sketchbook. Um, I'm just going through all the colours that I got now. So I'll read out the colours that I got. There's cedar green, sea green, peacock blue, moss green which is a really nice colour, and apple green which is one of my favourites. The pinks are Rose Matter Lake, Medium Flesh, Dark Flesh. The purples are Light Violet. I think that's the only purple I got actually. The blues are Light Blue, Light Cobalt. I got one yellow which is Ochre. A black and a black soft. For the reds I got dark orange, vermilion and dark flesh and I got two light grey warms and van dyke brown. Basically when I was picking them out I just went through and chose whatever colours I liked and I kind of tried to think about a cohesive colour palette but mostly I just picked the colours that stood out to me and I think these were $2.30 each or 2 15 and here I'm just testing out the colours. I'm testing the Lyra pencils compared to the Prismacolors, which I already had, which are the Prismacolor Color Raise pencils. I just have a 12 pack of those. The Prismacolors are definitely a lot smoother. They just go down on the page more smoothly. But they don't have the same texture as the Lyra pencils. And I actually, even though the Lyra pencils aren't as smooth, I do really like the texture that they make. Here I thought I would try and compare two of the most similar colours of the Prismacolor with the Lyra's. Again, I would say the pigmentation is about the same, even though the two colours that I chose aren't directly comparable. I would say they're equally pigmented. The Lyra still as I said is more textured and it might even be more pigmented actually it's hard to tell when I don't have directly comparable colors but just in terms of personal preference I think I do like the Lyra's more than the Prismacolors. And to store all these pencils I just got this cheap metal pencil case it's pretty good it works it's a pencil case I don't expect much from a pencil case and that is the the born or born to create brand which is one of the cheaper brands at Officeworks they kind of do like cheap dupes And speaking of cheap dupes, this is the Bourne graphic design marker, alcohol marker set. This was way, way cheaper than the Copic markers. The Copics are like $12 each year, which is just completely out of my budget. 
so I thought I'd try these. They have the fine tip and the broad tip, so they're pretty versatile. I think that's the same as the Copics. I haven't actually owned a Copic marker before, so I can't really compare. But I just did a few swatches with these two, just with whatever colours I picked out. Um, pretty pigmented. They did have some bleed through, which is to be expected. And it did bleed through a little bit onto the next page as well. I don't know if that says something about the markers or about the sketchbook. Probably the sketchbook. But later on, I just put a piece of paper in between the pages, so it only bleeds through to the page directly, to the opposite side of the page, rather than onto the next entire page. Yeah, I tested out a few of the pinks, the reds. There are some nice colours here too. The dark olive is a nice one. But here on the page, I think I tested peach red, geranium, Prussian blue, and purple, or that might be ultramarine. Here's the dark olive colour, which I really love. That's definitely my favourite colour. I love any kind of warm greens like this and I was just seeing how they blend with other colors I'm not really experienced with al alcohol markers so I'm not sure how well they're supposed to blend but it seemed to work pretty well you can see that the colors did blend together in the middle somewhat and here I tried to blend two different blues I think that's a light blue mixed with lake green I don't know what I was doing again just testing them out seeing how it all works this is all a learning experience for me trying to get back into traditional art again So here I decided to sketch something out using the new pencils. It's a little teddy bear sketch. I'll show the full thing at the end, but this is just four times sped up video of me sketching. So I'll put some music over the top and enjoy. space here so I didn't get to finish recording but this is what the piece ended up looking like I love the texture of these pencils and they're pretty pigmented lots of really nice colors I'm happy with the ones I chose and yeah I could create this fun little drawing of teddy bears thank you for watching bye